course I'm in the S10, so apologize if it's, you know, 12 or 37. And apologize for the shaky shaky. No tripod, right? But I gotta look and I can't hold y'all because it dickers my elbow. So you need more explanations? You gotta tell the story. So freaking, I'm coming back with... Coming back with barrels from dumping trash. And they're strapped, standing straight up, going there, coming back and just lay them down. But instead of being like that, instead of being like that, the back one is long ways, like the truck, right? With the opening towards the back. I didn't even think a thing about it. I just laid them down and took off. Well, in the 60 mile per hour zone back there, there's a semi on my ass, so I'm watching my mirror pretty intently because I'm passing another semi that's doing about 54. <laughs> and this semi, you know, they like to speed going downhill so they can have enough speed to get uphill. So he's wanting to do about 70, 75, while I'm only doing 60. Go to watch my mirror and I'd be goddamned if I didn't see that back barrel just fucking spinning. Just floating enough in the air that it was just spinning. I was like, okay, maybe I ought to bring it down to about 57. How about that, about 57. And I pulled in and got myself a soda pop, refreshing beverage I did, and uh, spun them both perpendicular as it were, as opposed to, is that perpendicular? I don't know, whatever, perpendicular to the truck as opposed to parallel with it, or in line as it were. Okay, now if we can get slow face McGillifucky out of the way, then we'll be, we'll be doing okay. Bye-bye, slow face McGillifucky. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness. So I just got my, I just got my order from Zazzle. I did. And I got a coupon for something. Yeah. And so I just got me some conspiracies. Some conspiracies. That's hilarious. I'm reading shit. Um, I got me some new bumper stickers because, uh, because my fuck Trump and, uh, and my other, uh, my other fuck Trump and if you like Trump, fuck you too stickers are kind of just about worn out. Plus they're always too small to read from a distance anyway. And my, my damn science sticker is wearing out too so I got a I got a make Orwell fiction again sticker I got a hate will not make us great sticker I got us a science is not a liberal conspiracy sticker I'm definitely putting all those on I'm not sure if I'm gonna put on the Republicans sounds so much nicer than nicer sounds so much nicer than racist mob of misogynists so kind of a mouthful that is not 100% sure that I'm gonna put that one on definitely putting these three on for sure once I clean the window, and uh, oh, I got a little bit of the pack here. A little bit of the pack here. It is some Chinese motherfucking sanding discs. How you doing? Made in China. This is definitely gonna fucking give me cancer. No way, I'm not getting cancer using these. I read the reviews. There weren't that many of them, but they were decent. I mean. These were not expensive. I think it was like 14 bucks for 100 discs. Oh, they smell fucking great. So even if they go away quick, yeah, they're not so bad, right? I gotta take all my clamps off. Clamps! Okay, here we go. The big Chinese sanding disc set. So starting at the back, we have 40, 80, oh. We got 60, 80. Apologize. So we got 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 180, 240, 320, 400, and 800 here at the bottom. And you can just see, I mean, I got a fuckload of 40s, right? I got a shitload of 40s. Not so many 60s. Definitely more 80s. A good amount of 100s, good amount of 120s, good amount of 180s. Decent amount of 240s. A little skimpy on the 320 here. Oh, decent amount of decent amount of two 240s. A little skimpy on the on the 320. Super skimpy on the 400. And then, you know, decent amount of 800, I guess. But definitely a random assortment. Definitely a random assortment of the uh, of the Chinese Taipei doll. I like it how it makes them look like they're all different colors and stuff. And no. Oh, where's the dump today, right? Look at the dump. Forgot all the boxes. Oh, you're fucking good, but don't don't worry about those. Just leave those here.
that didn't occur to me either that now my seat is not going to be centered with my window. I mean, I don't give a fuck. It's going to look slightly weird. Um, you know, because I didn't leave the space for the dishwasher. But I wanted more counter space. I did it on purpose. It would be nice to have more counter space on the right side of my sink, though, as opposed to the left. But we're going to work it out. Uh, like I said, I'll think about all this next time I design a kitchen. Okay, so after I initially traced out my sink, I then measured the distance between the outer lip here and the inside of this channel. And then I've uh, incorporated that into my wood template, which I have the sink staying on one of those lines. I've done the bottom line, and then see, then I've just, oh, sorry, it's coming out of focus. See, I've got it on the bottom line that I've drawn, and then I've just put them on those two points and then connected that curve there with the with the sink placed on it. And I have this one last corner left to do. I apologize for the low angle, but it is the tallest tripod I have. And so I'm just trying to make sure that I'm lined up on all three lines that I can see, which I know are mostly straight. <laughs> which I know are straight and uh, or as straight as the sink anyway since that's what the lines are based off of so I'm just trying to get it as close to these lines as possible I guess I can only see two of them so I apologize so both both lines that I can see and now I'm lined up along I'm lined up along both right and so then I'll just hold the sink down and I'll connect my, well now that I look I could come this way here. You kind of want to get right above it and be looking kind of straight down on it. You can always take your pencil, kind of see where your line falls in conjunction with the sink. Okay and that's pretty good so now I'll just connect my Move this out of the way, and then you can see I've got my outside template. But as you can see now, I've got my outside template and my inside template. And the way I understand it is I would actually I will, I will use my jigsaw and I'll cut inside this inside line so that I still see the line. So that I still see the line, and then check for fitment and if I need to take off a little knobbin or two I will and at that point I'm gonna have a router okay I got a couple of knot holes dug out here that were loose and a couple of soft spots and uh, a couple of soft spots I dug out that big channel I drilled my holes with my jigsaw <coughs> dug out that one you know, I'll, I'll sand those out with the, with the Dremel, get in there and sand them out real good. Okay, well, we had a few shenanigans in the way of this bent-ass blade cutting my wood all, all all asunder. There she is, the panel that came out. So I definitely think I'm about to go get a router because I don't know if you can see, surely you can see how much farther the bottom is than the top because of that dickered blade. And then like this whole section in the back, look, look it was so bent, look it's fucking, what the fuck? So that's not good. So I think I'm just going to get the router because then I can just mark it up this line and then just take it off easy and not fuck anything up. So I'm a dork because I probably knew I was going to do this all along anyway. And uh, I probably could have just routed out this whole damn thing, which would have made it perfect. But whatever, it is what it is. So I got one straight bit. Oh my goodness. I got one. Oh, I can't even. I got one Diablo. 
straight bit, the one with the bearing guide. And then I just got a little $20 set of some cheap, uh, some cheap Ryobi, some different sizes. Uh, one inch in length is most of those. And then I went ahead and picked up a $99 plunging runner. Nice little wrench. Some screws. I guess that's a collet adapter probably. 